Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I will show you how you can save Elementor Pro form entries to your database using dynamic content plugin for Elementor. Well, this works natively with Elementor Pro and what's cool about this is that you can save these Elementor Pro form entries into your database, into your posts or you can even create a custom post type and with the help of advanced custom field plugin, you can map all these fields and get them displayed on your WordPress dashboard. It's quite simple and very powerful. All you need to do is to have the dynamic .00's dynamic content plugin installed on your site. Once you do that, head over to Elementor, click on dynamic content and under extensions, you need to make sure that form save is selected and you need to click on save extensions. So once you do that, you can open up any page post template or a custom post type using Elementor by clicking on edit with Elementor, just drag in the Elementor Pro's form widget. Once you're in the form widget, you can add any fields and I'll also show you how to map these fields. First, let's create some fields. So as we drag Elementor Pro form, these are the fields that we get by default. And here under actions after submit, you can click here and select, scroll down and select save from actions after submit. This is possible because of dynamic content plugin. So once you select save in actions after submit, you need to click on save and here there are a lot of options for it. So you can ignore empty files, you can save files as media. So if you have file uploads on this form, you can save them to your uh, media library. You can also redirect him. So you can actually save this as a post, as a user and as a term. Term stands for something like a category or tag of your posts or custom post types. I'll select post for now with all these fields left as is. This one is really important. Under metas, you need to click and select all the fields that you want to be mapped on the backend. What do I mean by that? I'll show you in a bit. So in order to save all these entries on the backend, you need to select them under this metas field. Since we have just three fields, I selected all the three fields. And if you don't select them, this particular data won't be sent to the backend and you cannot save it in your WordPress dashboard. That's what it means. And since we selected save as post, you can choose the post title. So you can change it to form entry by this is dynamically replaced. So whatever name user fills, the title of the post will be form entry by that particular name. It's a short code and you get that with an Elementor. For every field, there's a short code. You can click here under advanced, you can find short code for every field. You can also change ID and that will also change the short code. So if I change it to something name one, even the short code is changed. I'll just keep that to default, which is name. So that short code can be used anywhere within your actions in Elementor. So the post title will be this and the post content will be message which is this field right here and within post type even this is important you need to select where or which kind of post should this form data be saved as. If you select posts it will be available under post. If you select pages it will be available under pages. We'll just select post. Don't worry you can also create a custom post type called entries. Don't worry about that and here you can select whether you want to publish the post, keep it private or save it as a draft. This is highly helpful to basically get guest posts from your users and verify if everything is cool and you can publish it on your backend. That's a cool use case of this form. But anyway, we're just concerned with the entry management. I'll just select publish and just I'll leave this as is. I'll click on update. So once we update our form, I'll just click on preview changes. So that opens up the front end preview where I can ent enter the data, I'll say. So these are the entries that I made. So when I click on send, it says the form was sent successfully. But since we chose to save it as a post and the post type is also posts, it will be available within your WordPress post. So when I click on all posts, you can see that entry right here. I'll simply click on edit to see all the various fields in the post it says form entry by Karthik which was the entry that I made in the form name and email and message is or the post content is the message what about email where did my email go right is it saved as categories is it saved as tags it's not it's still saved but you cannot view the data because those fields are not mapped or there are no particular compatible field to show all the data from your form in your post what do I mean by that you need to create custom fields to map the form data and show them on your front end so in order to 
to do that, we'll use a plugin called Advanced Custom Fields. It's quite popular one. You may have already heard of it. So install and activate Advanced Custom Fields. Under Custom Fields, I'll create a new group called Form Entries just to display all the entries of my form. I'll say Form Entries. I'll click on Add Field. And these entries should also match the form entries here. So I'll go here. So the first field, and there's one more important thing to note, the ID and the entry label should also be the same. We'll see how that works. So I'll say name. Field name should be same as the forms or the uh, fields ID. So I'll keep it name. Since name is text, field type is text, that's fine with me. I'll click on add field. Now we'll create email and the short code for email or the ID of email is email. So the field name should also be email just to map it properly. Even this is fine. We create a name, email. Now we need to create a field for our message. So I'll just click on add new and I'll say message and under field type the message can be large so I'll select text area so that will appropriately map the message so these are the form entries and we need to show them in our posts if you want to show them in other posts you can add another rule group I just want to show this field group in my post and here you can see where the custom field should be displayed I'll select normal for now we'll see how that looks like I'll publish this now I'll go back to my post I'll click on this entry again and just like that there's a new field group called form entries and the, all the entries that I made in this forms front end or all the entries are mapped and filled accordingly. Isn't it simple? That easy. Now what about some complex entries? Let's do some complex fields and see how they can be mapped. Now I'll add a number field here. I'll select number from here. I'll also change the ID to number. Also label to number. Let's add another field. This time I'll select a drop down. So it's select. It's a select kind of, I'll call it menu. And the options will be one, two, and three. And I'll finally add a file upload field. I'll select this. I'll say file here under advanced. I'll change the shortcode to file, even this to menu. So this is a pretty complex form. And how do we save this complex data and display it in our post type or in our post? Well, the answer is simple and the method is simple. Similar to how we mapped all these fields, we need to create or edit the field group that we just created to accommodate the extra data or all the form fields. So I'll go to form field group. I'll click on form entries field group. We have fields for name, email and message. We need number, menu and file. How do you map number? Well, it's simple. Number can be mapped using a number field. So I'll call it number. The name can be the same as the ID. And here you can simply select number. Not a problem. And how do you map menu, right? You may guess that you can map menu field by adding a field type of menu, but that won't work. I'll tell you why that won't work. But anyway, I already know that it will fail, but I'll just select select field type. I'll call it menu. Field name will be the ID of the menu. And even the same logic, I'll select the field type file. Even this won't work. I'll explain why that won't work, but I'll just show you just so you'll understand. I'll update the field group. Now I'll go back to all posts. I'll just keep a new tab open for our post. I'll delete this entry. I'll make a new entry on the front end of my form. I'll just click on preview changes. So my preview is updated. Let's enter some data from file. I'll just click on choose file. I'll select some logo. It can be any file. You can configure that in the file field in Elementor. Now I'll hit send. The form data is sent. Now let's refresh our posts since we mapped it to our posts. We'll just click on edit. So this is the post title and the message. And let's click on form entries to view all the entries. So name is mapped. Email is mapped properly. I get the email that I filled at the back end. Message is also the message that I filled. But I didn't get the number that I filled here. Why is that so? There are two reasons for this. The first thing is that we forgot to save these additional fields in the meta tab. That will still fix for the number, but it won't fix for the menu and the file. Since we forgot to include these in the metas, they were not 
saved in the backend. So this is really important when you're working with the Dynamics Save extension. You need to select all the fields that you want to be saved in the database. That's what I meant earlier. So now that I've selected all the fields, I'll hit update. I'll do another entry here. Even the preview gets uploaded. I'll just make another entry on this form. Let's choose the same file again. Doesn't matter. It, you can choose any file. I'll hit send. Now the form is sent successfully. You can visit all the posts again. I'll click on all posts. So this is the new entry. I'll just click on edit to view the field. So this is the post title and this is the message. That's fine. Let's see all the entries. So the name is properly mapped. I got the name back here. I got the email. I got the message. I also got the number, but I didn't get the menu. Where did we go wrong? This is a select menu and this is also a select kind of field. Where did we go wrong? That's not how it works. Number got mapped and even the same logic applies to file. We selected a file, right? But why didn't we get the file or why didn't the file be displayed here? So the logic is simple. The output of these two fields is not a menu or a file. So when you're picking an option from here, it's not a menu. You need to think about the output of these fields. The same logic applies to a radio button and the output of file picker is a file but not a file field and that's the reason why it's not mapped at the back end and that's the reason why we could not select or see the file. So how do we fix that? So menu, you need to see what options are there in the menu. Since we have numbers, you can map that to a number field. So this should not be a select type but rather a number. And what about this file field? The output of file is a file. So it can be a file or it can also be a link to the file that you upload, right? So you can click on, click on this. You can change the file to an image. Even this will work. You can change this to URL. We'll just change it to URL. And that will be the URL of the file that you upload to the form. I'll just hit update now. Time for another entry. I'll just click on the preview changes again so that the form reloads. You can make a new entry here. Some random name, email, message and I'll fill in a number. I'll select a menu here. Let's pick the file again. I'll pick the same file. You can pick any file that you want. I'll pick a logo. Now I'll hit send. Watch what happens now. I'll click on all posts. And this is the new entry. I'll click on edit. So the title and the content, it's cool. Let's go to form entries. So the name, email, message. Now the number is displayed. Even the menus output, like I said, is displayed. And even the file is displayed here. How cool is that? So you have to understand what is the output of the field in Elementor. And you need to pick the appropriate field in the ACF custom fields group. Since you pick a file here in the Elementor group, the output will be either URL or a link to the file. Let's also change this to link to the file. So that way we can check that file. I'll change it to link this time. I'll update this. And this is all done dynamically on backend. Your user won't be affected. He'll be uploading the same field. I'll refresh this again. Let's enter some data. Let's enter some number. This time a bigger number doesn't matter. Let's pick a new menu option. Let's choose a different file this time. I'll just choose this one. I'll click on open. So that file is selected. I'll hit send. Again, we'll go back to our posts because it's saved as a post. This is the latest entry. I'll just click on edit to view the post type or the post data. Title and description is fine. The form enter is custom field. Name is mapped. Email is mapped. Message is mapped. Number, we get the number that he filled, even the menu option. And here you get a link to the file that was uploaded. Click on that and that opens up. How cool is that, right? So that's how you map or create appropriate custom fields for all the entry fields and display them in your WordPress dashboard but there's you can take this a step further and you can create a custom post type just to show the entries but not the name title attributes and stuff like this you don't really need all this stuff all you need are the entries right so let's create a custom post type and I'll use a plugin called CPT UI for this I'll click on add new so let's call post type entry plural be entries 
singular label is entry I'll just click on add post type that's fine now we'll go back to our custom fields click on field group and the form entry is field I just want the form entry field to show up in the newly created custom post type so I'll create so I'll change this condition post type equal to I'll hit update since we created that custom post type we need to even tweak the settings in the Elementor form itself under the save action again the post type this time we want to just change it to entries but we don't see that here because we have to refresh this page in order to show that newly created custom post type I'll just refresh this page so once it's refreshed I can go to the form I'll go to save settings here I can click on post types and I can select entries now all the data will be saved into our custom post type which is entries that's like having a plugin that does the same in fact two free plugins do the same already made a video on that you link to that will be in the description anyway now let's see how that would look like I'll hit update the so, so the form gets updated too I'll fill in my data now in the back end all the entries will be saved to your custom post type called entries we'll refresh this previously we did that with post now we see that with entries I'll click on edit if the entries don't show up here under your field group you need to make sure that the form entries field post type is set to entry you can add a rule group to show it on additional data but we just want it on the entry post type so you should select post type equal to entries and don't forget to hit update now when I open up the entries field I can see the form entries name email message number menu and a link to the file that I just uploaded cool right and also we don't really need all these settings so in order to hide all the settings that are available all you need to do is to go to the CPT UI you need to click on edit post types select entries which is the custom post type that did that we're trying to edit down here scroll down to the absolute bottom and uncheck all the options select none so this will remove all these particular meta fields from your custom post type because all we need is to just view the entry right so I'll just select none and don't forget to save your post type so once you do that this is all you see all you see is publish the dynamic content settings which comes from the plugin itself and the content or the minimum setting that comes from the theme itself so we now see form entries and that's it so that's how you save your form entries to either a, an existing post type such as posts pages or a custom post type such as entries create your own and you can take this even further you can basically create archives for this custom post type and the archives can be designed in such a way to display all these entries dynamically or visually maybe by using a chart plugin a bar plugin and the possibilities are endless but I'll stop this so this is how you use the save action in dynamic content plugin this is really powerful stay tuned for more tutorials I'll talk to you in the next one peace